topic, Ms. Yates, that, that you and Senator Cornyn were talking about. Okay. Uh, is it correct that the Constitution vests the executive authority in the president? Yes. And if an attorney general disagrees with a policy decision of the president, mm -hmm. a policy decision that is lawful, does the attorney general have the authority to direct the Department of Justice to defy the president's order? I don't know whether the attorney general has the authority to do that or not, but I don't think it would be a good idea, and that's not what I did in this case. Well, are you familiar with 8 U.S.C. Section 1182? Not off the top of my head, no. Well, it, it, it is the binding statutory authority for the executive order that you refused to implement and that led to your termination. So it, it certainly is a relevant and not a terribly obscure statute. Mm -hmm. By the express text of the statute, it says, quote, whenever the president finds that the entry of any alien or of any class of aliens into the United States would be detrimental to the interests of the United States, he may by proclamation and for such period as he shall deem necessary suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants or impose